Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Tech or Chevy Suburban that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you need to find where the airbag light fuses and relays are located, where you can find them guys, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays with a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so the airbag light fuses and relays where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Suburban and Chevy Tahoe here Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban are built on the same platform the only difference practically is the Suburban is longer so it should apply to both quick reminder most owners 9 out of 10 do not know how many hidden fuse boxes are inside that SUV we made a very helpful video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban check it out guys what we need to do now open the passenger door and then you need to open okay on the side of the dash here where the door is you see pry that cover open behind it you're going to find the fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so guys consider this video for entertaining purposes only this video is not a how-to video because you have to be qualified and certified to work on airbag systems otherwise guys okay it can be catastrophic you can get hurt or even killed now this video is for entertaining purposes only quick reminder for any of you that is qualified and certified to work on airbags you have to disconnect the car battery for at least one hour even when just checking an airbag fuse and you need to know which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first that way you don't you do not burn modules computers that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs the first thing that we need to check now guys okay if you come right here let's zoom in a little bit so we can clearly see things we're going to find fuse number 26 we're talking about this uh, fuse right here that's a double fuse known as a micro tree fuse it could be super expensive and hard to find so we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from what about a relay you don't have a relay guys you just have a fuse that's known uh, practically as a relay fuse so if you have problems with your back module or back light check that fuse first so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses fuses relays circuit breakers something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere you don't have a replacement one you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced so what we do we usually buy some spare ones we put in the glove box for a peace of mind we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 